Hey guys, this is Max from Maximum Survivors. Uh, today we're going to be doing a gear review on a, a target here that I've gotten from shootsteel.com. This target here is an AR500 steel. It's CNC cut. If you could uh, come a little closer here and look at it. This thing is cut with precision. It's no ragged at the edges or nothing like that. It's real smooth. Um, this thing measures out at, at, uh, at a half inch plate. The length is six and a half by six. Now guys, this, this target here, like I said, is from shootsteel.com. Um, this bracket does not come with it. This is something that I've put together uh, to, to give it some spring. You can find these these targets at, like I said, shootsteel.com. They have big bigger uh, targets. They have AR-200, AR-500, and targets, guys. They also have the brackets that you can put over the two before us. A lot of good accessories. So check these guys out at shootsteel.com. Uh, this frame uh, is something I throw together to do a shoot with. And uh, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start out and shoot this thing with 9 millimeter, then I'm going to go to 40 millimeter, uh, 40 cal, and then I'm going to shoot it with my AR-22. Um, you need to be with uh, like 10 yards, 10 foot uh, away from the target when you shoot, and if you're going to shoot it with an AR-15, you need to be up about 100 yards. Um, I I'm hope I'm on target today. I uh, have not had these guns out so long. Uh, been getting a lot of rain here where I live at. Uh, we just... This is the first day we can get out and film because of the, the rain, and now it's so so blustered hot uh, that you know it's just up, almost unbearable. So we appreciate you uh, viewing us. Uh, like I said, get with shootsteel.com. Those guys will help you out with all your target needs. And now we're going to back up and start with the nine millimeter, and then we'll walk down and, and check the target out and see how well we're done. All right, so we're going to just back off about 10 yards. And uh, go from there, and I bring my tape up here and lay it down. Going hot. Okay, guys, that is uh, with the uh, nine millimeter Taurus Millennium. Uh, so let's walk down here to check this target out, guys. As you can see right here, smooth. There's no pitting. Uh, shot five shots. One, two, three, four, five. All of them hit the uh, target, so you know that was pretty good. This thing, these AR-500 uh, targets, guys, always uh, does its job. It don't pit. You put a lot of rounds down range, and uh, you know very good. Like I said, we're gonna back up and do it with the 40, and uh, we go from there. be shooting it with the 40 Glock. It's the uh, 22C and uh, we're going to see how well it does there. Okay guys, let's walk down here and check this one out. As you can see, this is your 40 that's hitting over here. Uh, then again, no pitting. 
no pitting at all. Run an AR500 uh, steel from shootsteel.com. And we're going to back up and run some uh, 22s at it and uh, see how well it does, guys. Okay, guys, we're going to walk down here and look and see how well we're done with the 22 and uh, see if it's uh, done any fitting. I believe I hit it in several spots down here. It's, it's knocking the chips of the paints off uh, of the paint. So, uh, you know, this thing, if it's not pitting with a 9mm or a 40 cal, uh, it's most definitely not going to pit with the 22. Okay, guys, we're going to get set up and um, with the AR-15 and uh, about 100 yards out. And uh, I may get some paint and paint this. Stay tuned. I guess the AR-15 will be part two. Uh, remember uh, to be careful and always God bless America.